All right, so what is going on today, YouTube? Back again with another episode of Are They Dead? And now today, we will be testing out Chris Johns to see how they do. And um, you know what? I actually think that this deck is still pretty good. I think it's actually, it may be a tad bit better. In, 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 I know what you guys are thinking. How, how was that? How was that busted? How is a deck that, you know, focuses on synchro summoning better in link format than it was when there was no... You know restrictions on your special summonings um because of, of a little card right here i believe this card right there star boy um because of Ma Ma star boy or Ma Ma star boy whatever you say it um you get to send the christians to the grave without using their effects to get them in the grave so then like let's say you get two of them on the board you get to send them to the grave special and master open up two zones and you get to banish their from their you can banish them from the graveyard and use their effects that's why i think they're actually a tad bit better but you know what there's enough talking let's just go ahead and show you some replays all right so as you can see i'm starting off with the uh standard uh sulfonix combo and i mean sulfonair combo and you know he always has they, they always have it they always have the uh, they always have the uh, ghost organ right here um as you see, I did, I did, I opened up decent, but the, the not, not the Ghost Ogre, but the Ash Blossom really hurt because Sofonir couldn't get a Smogger and stuff like that. So he activated Dark Hole, and now um, I'm thinking, hmm, should I use Citri? And I'm thinking, yes, I definitely should use Citri because with Citri, I'm going to a level four. It dies, but then it gets back to Sof Sofonir, and then when Sofonir dies, we can get another, uh, we can get another Christian from our deck. So going up against ABCs. And it's clear that it's the um, not it's not clear, but I'm pretty sure it's the Destrudu version of the OCG because everybody's playing it. So go to attack. He uses Compose. Can't really do anything about it. Then he go goes into a uh, special summons to see the equipped to be. And I'm thinking, all right, what is he going to do now? He goes into ABC discard, and so I strike him. Did not strike on the summon because I was not looking at the. <laughs> I, I, I didn't do that on purpose. I just was not looking um, at the screen at the time. So. Top deck a uh, another uh, what's the name? Top deck another Christian, a Smogger to be specific, and I pretty much be able to uh, basically recreate my board. Now here I could have easily went what's the name? Could have easily went uh, into a Master Boy, but I, I feel like it wasn't the best time to do it because I felt like we had control. And then Citri can go ahead and get us another card. Uh, Supply Squad is going to get us something. So in the end phase, I do impact, and now I think here's when I go into the Master Boy because we can get. Phoenix in the graveyard, and so now I'm thinking, all right, you're about to get Trish. And the only reason why I continue to go is because they didn't give me the option to Trish, which I did not understand. But then, like, after it gave me the option to Trish. So right here, my play was to what's it? Right here, I was going to go Formula C. That's why I couldn't do it. Never mind. All right. <laughs> I was wondering why I couldn't I couldn't go Formula, but they wouldn't let me go uh, Formula because, I mean, no, actually... No, they wouldn't let me go Trish for some reason. That's what I didn't understand. Like, my zones were free. I don't know why they didn't let me go Trish. But the whole play was to go here, to go Formula Synchron, then go Trish. So I can get a draw and Trish him. But I had to go Trish first for some odd reason. And then here, I was left with this. But, you know, he goes to me, but I'm not really tripping because I top deck the, uh, I mean, not top deck, but I do have a supply squad. And then, you know, I can still do most of my plays. So I attack, bam. And then what's really good about Ma 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 Master Boy or Ma Star Boy, or Star I'm going to call him Star Boy for now because it, it's just, I'm just not going to continue to keep saying Master Boy. This is dumb. But it boosts all of our waters by 500. So by 500 attack and defense. So that means we can get some beefy ass monsters. Like the level 5, I don't know the name, but the level 5, look, this one's 25. The synchro level 5 is 3,000. Like we can do major damage. So here, Going to attack into the B, and the only reason I did that is because I'm going into Omega to banish the A, because he does not have an A. That's the only card he is missing, so I'm thinking, please don't type that. And he ends up quitting because I guess he just had nothing to do against this powerful Christian. All right, so game two, we're going up against Crawlers, and as you can see, I opened up okay. I opened up okay. Did not open up the greatest, but you know what? I do have a Supply Squad, so that can definitely get us somewhere. So Supply Squad draws us into a, uh, what's the name, to a Rion, and that's okay with everybody and i have an impact so i'm like i'm not really afraid because i can do this go into the four he can't kill the four with this but he can definitely go into one of his crawlers so right here i'm thinking all right i can trish you i can use i can go into uh the one that banishes up to three monsters and i think that's what i'm gonna do here 
No, I'm gonna go Trish because that's obviously the better play. Get rid of Worm Bait, and that's a good ass card right here. This, you know what? If you guys can see, if you guys can actually find these because they they were only released, and I believe, wait, hold on, the Ultra Rares are only released in a video game. But if this card is actually good because if you control an insect type, you can just get two free tokens. So that means if crawlers even become anything remotely good, this card is going to definitely shoot up because it's two free tokens. So as you can see here, I'm just going off. I send the, uh, what's the name to the grave. I mean, I do Sopanir's play, use that, get the Smogger, and I'm just going off right now. So here, I'm definitely going to go Starboy's main phase too because I do have the, what's the name of my hand, Crystal, Crystal Entry. And this card is so damn good. It's so good because you can special summon two tuners, one from your hand and one from your graveyard. And so with that and being there, we can definitely just, you know, make some master this crazy board. So bam, we go here, banish screen. Look at the attack on this thing. 35 fucking hundred. Look at this. 3,000. My star boy makes this deck so amazing because it gives you more links and it boosts all of our monsters. And going into game three, as you can see, we're going up against some type of, uh, what's the name? Soup, Deep Sea King, uh, Calamphia deck. And uh, once again, I started off with a Scrap Recycler, and we're doing good. I believe I dumped, uh, what is it, the, the, the T card. The one that searches a monster, because I want to use a Quan to get uh, to get the level four. That's pretty much what you want to do, is get, level, get him on the board, because he makes everything pretty much possible because you can just you can go into um the one that banishes uh, all the spells and traps you can go to the one that banishes all the monsters with relative ease it's not really too much of a problem here get to go starboy again normal summon this and this is even 2300 jesus christ starboy makes this deck so good and i think that christians aren't dead just because of this card right here this card can i uh, mean actually it, it actually makes the deck you know still relevant not not relevant but it still makes the deck you can still play it pretty much and watch this combo right here. I'm just letting my opponent go. He goes into his own star boy and look at the attacks on the board. Jesus Christ. So he goes that and once again, using Christian entry. I might bump this up to two. That card is so goddamn good. Using Christian entry, because we went to a level four earlier, look at that. 4,000 attack, get to banish three on my opponent's turn. We still have a Christian impact and we still have Rion to stop anything. And we, like I said, we still have an extra zone. So this is what I'm talking about with, with Starboy, man. It makes the deck, it just makes it so good. It basically, you don't lose a step and you get an actual boost. So with the fourth duel of the day, as you can see, I'm going up against Crawlers again, man. Look, we started off pretty decent. Here, we're going to start off with the Rion play because we, I mean, we start off with the Rion play because we do, I, I just want to get this to the graveyard so I can get the Smogger. Then once I get Smogger, I can use it to go into a, a Starboy because Starboy is pretty good. And once again, I was talking about Worm Bait. Look at this. Look what Warren Bay can do. And this is what I did. I showed didn't damn know this. I didn't know that creature swap. When you creature swap a monster like this, it goes into the monster zone, which is freaking crazy. But this is what I'm talking about. You get two free tokens with Warren Bay. That's a card you definitely should be looking out for. That's really good. Creature swap made seems really good too, because if you could just get a you get a uh, extra deck monster put in the monster zone, that's just really good. So here I'm going into a cipher and lower mega because if I kill this. We can definitely get something back. Did not mean to go to main phase two. I thought it was attack for some reason. And once again, search the entry because this card makes it so, it just makes everything so much easier. So he goes into the set stat and here I'm thinking, all right, I'm about to use the one that banishes all the spells and traps, but it re it's a level nine, which I continue to forget. And this is a problem here, folks. This is the problem with Christrons, I guess. Um, not I guess, but this is the problem with Christian. So you definitely want to play more than just one Link Monster, even though you don't really need more than one. But this is a problem. If this happens, you can lock yourself out, and there's not really too much you can do. Thank God we top deck Duster, and he just he just had enough. And so with the final duel of the day, we got a very, very, very uh, just crazy, crazy, and I mean crazy, folks, crazy duel against. Pendulums. As you can see here, I'm open. I opened up very good. You know, I established my board. We can definitely get something cracking. Look at this, man. We got a Citri. We got smog. We got the smog search. We got the we got the Thessafern Thessafern search. We're doing pretty good. We got a Sulfonir in the graveyard. We got a two star in the graveyard. We can use uh, what's the name? We can use Citri. Get that back. We have a uh, we have a what's the name? We have an impact and we have a Stormy Mirror Force. The only thing I regret is not setting Twin Twister. And watch this, folks. This is what pendulums are just, just able to do. Now, just imagine if you were still able to just pin five from your extra deck. Man, I would have been in some major, major trouble. But 
I believe that's the only reason why I probably actually stayed alive in the door is because he can only go into one. So as you can see, look at this. He's drawn. Look at the look at the card advantage. Jesus Christ, what is he at right now? That's eight on the board. Four in hand. So he's at twelve. So he's already a plus six. And look, he's gonna just keep doing more. Look, go in the alchemy, put that back to the hand. Pop. Special summon it again. Get another search and he attacks straight into the storming mirror force. And then I chain this because this gives me a link zone. I'm definitely going to use it. And that's what's really good about crystals is that the fact that, you know, if your opponent does try to like, you know, super uh, go up on some link plays, uh, I mean, super level up on some link plays, you can definitely just use like if they go into a deco target, you can definitely just get one straight off of that. If he's just trying to level up as he was trying to do, um, you can definitely use that in here. Folks, uh, what's the name? He tries to pop my card, but he can't do it because I do have the impact in the graveyard. So that was pretty good going into, uh, what's the name? Putting it in the grave. And here we go again with another Star Boy. And Star Boy is finna put the damage on board. And I mean damage on board. Look at this. Look at this. Just ridiculous. Just, oh my God. 19, 3,000. That's 5,300 right there. That's 7,600 plus 19. We're doing 9,500 damage thanks to Starboy. An extra 2,000 that we shouldn't have had. And yeah, man, that is it for this week. So yeah, man, that is it for this week. This is the deck list. Now you guys let me know. Do you think these, do you think Christians are dead or do you actually think that they can actually do something? You guys let me know down in the comments below. If you guys do want me to play this deck, let me know. You guys know what to do. And if you guys will, if you guys enjoyed this video and you like this channel and you want to support me, all I ask if you guys can click an ad, that would be very helpful and I appreciate you. Thank you. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Actually, nope. Tomorrow? Actually, yeah, tomorrow's Wednesday. So, yeah, you definitely will see me tomorrow.